It's been a hell of a good ride. It's the most satisfying, exhilarating, humbling thing I ever could have imagined doing. In his 16 years as president of the Columbus College of Art and Design, Denny Griffith has transformed the downtown campus, doubling its size and expanding its curriculum during a time of massive change in the art and design world. The recent launch of the Mine Market has set the college's sights on the future. And connecting with the community, the business community, the nonprofit sector through projects like our Mind Market, which is our uh, small business incubator and our design lab, which is really the, kind of the bridge between the college and the outside world, the real world, where we bring projects in, um, pr predominantly design related projects that we can put cross disciplinary teams of, of um, students from various majors, faculty and real-world clients coming in who need, uh, who need innovation and creativity and of course we deliver that in spades. So that mind market has then really kind of created the forecast for the new college which we effectively launch next fall which is um, a really deep uh, commitment to adding business education into the art and design education. So where are we headed, Denny? Uh, we are headed Griffith has always sought balance between his work as a college and community leader and his creative side. His refuge is a small garage behind his home. This was really kind of the perfect setup because um, I've got my man cave out here. I can, <laughs> I can make a giant mess and I never get in any trouble You can for scream it. and yell. Yeah, that's right. Turn up the music, which is good. Great. Here you go, Tom. Come on in. Thanks, Tom. I've got to get the lights here. All right. So, wow. This is my studio. And, uh, Your special spot here. I spend a lot of time out here. So as you can see here, I'm um, trying to work in series. I do a lot of different pieces, all kind of in a, in a similar kind of style, a similar way of working. And um, in the case of this work, what I'm doing is using a, uh, a tool like I mean, this is really high-tech stuff. This is a this is an old window scraper, and while the wax is still warm, I'm going back and cutting into the surface and pulling down through multiple layers Can of. Can touch this? Yeah, Better. yeah. Help yourself. It is very thick, isn't it? Yeah, it's. it's it, I, see, I have this love affair with um, with texture, and of course, as you can see, with color. What I've been trying to do is boil this, these paintings down to a kind of to the essence of surface texture and and lines that have a kind of familiar quality, but then you really aren't really sure what you're looking at. And so what's, I think, exciting for me is when people come to this work and they say, well, I see this in it, or I see that in it. I see the Mississippi River that I grew up yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> these things really do read as a kind of, as kind of maps in a way, as a, as a kind of a sense of, you know, curving rivers, or uh, perhaps in the case of some of the ones over here, uh, like this, this, this large yellow one, um, more like grasses growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, it just, it just mm -hmm. depends on, well, it depends on a lot of things. Most of all, it depends on what the viewer brings with them to the work. This is about improvisation. This is about um, reaching inside and trying to find a way of making things that's very individualistic. It's the thing that balances me, though, in that external world. And that external world, this, the college world, also informs what I do here because I'm every day I'm dog paddling in the art and design universe. I've given given my all to the college for 16 years, and it has been a love affair with the place. Um, but because it's kind of a 24-7 sort of job, um, no matter where you are, you are the president of the college, and so you represent the college. And, um, and uh, your day doesn't stop at 5 o'clock. It goes well into the evenings and many, many weekends. And so I could feel myself beginning to long for more respite, more quiet time, more individual time. And, um, and when I started to feel I thought I have a responsibility then not to hold on to a job just because I love it, but to share that wonderful job with somebody else who can also love it. What, what are the traits do you think that have uh, made you, well, both a successful administrator hmm. and artist? Yeah. Oh, you mean other than like drooling? Oh. <laughs> do that well. <laughs> 
uh, a sense of humor, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it's yeah, it's really there are um, you know there aren't that many art jokes. I think we all take ourselves pretty <laughs> seriously. Uh, so um, yeah, it's important to be able to laugh and have fun. It's imp- I think important to have um, empathy for other people. But you know, a, a, a life uh, in and around the arts and culture. First of all, I mean, I mean, let's all right. So let's let's talk about what what makes that special. The mm-hmm. arts in, are really the exemplification of the pursuit of human excellence, in much the same way I think as athletics are, uh, just in a different form. And so you know, we see human beings at their best through literature and through dance and through music and certainly through the visual arts and design arts. Um, and then. The arts have been a pathway to um, encountering, in a not in a negative, aggressive way, but in a comfortable way, ideas and people and cultures that are different from the ones that I was raised with. Mm-hmm. When I was brought to the arts, it opened it opened me up, uh, and it's made me, I think, more tolerant and more inquisitive, uh, more curious about things that are different as opposed to you know pushing back from them. And I think there are an awful lot of people in our world who instantly just push back from the unfamiliar. So the embrace of the unfamiliar is, I think, one of the things that this life has done uh, for me and to me. And, uh, and so therefore, I like to, I like to try to um, inflict that in, the, in, a, in, a, in a happy way, in an appropriate way, on other people to help them open up their horizons. So Denny, we're going to do a word association mm-hmm. game. Uh, just a word or two about every word I mentioned to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so inspiring. Um, uh, the arts. Sad. Um, closed-mindedness. Love. Um, joy. Politics. Uh, dysfunctional. The future. Oh, damned exciting. Yeah, really, uh, the future. Not scary at all. Um, Just, I hope we get tomorrow, you know? Everybody thinks tomorrow is a promise, and then stuff happens, and you know, we're not here. So let's, let's like, be here now, and, uh, and grin about tomorrow.